everyone, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to do another painting on a rock. And this time it's going to be a painting of my version of a sunflower. Or a sunflower arrangement. Anyways, we're going to be using 2A Magic brushes. Long, long stem. One is a number 2. One is a number 4. These are both flat brushes. And then I'm going to be using two of my Dear Foot Stipplers. One is a number eight, and one is a number four. Paint I'm using today is Wicker White, Bumblebee, which I like since we are beekeepers, Real Brown, Thicket, Moon Yellow, Fresh Foliage, and Cinnamon. I've already cleaned off the stone. It's a pretty flat, you know, a couple imperfections, but I found a local place that actually sells stones, so I was real excited about that. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and get started on my design. I'm going to use my Dear Foot Stippler first and head into the, the cinnamon and then into the real brown and I always tap off put a little bit of cinnamon on the, the front and the real brown on the back and I always pounce it onto my surface like my palette which I use a glass plate to do my paint, painting or put my paint on because I can just wash it off instead of using a styrofoam plate and throwing that away. Anyhow, just like that. Then I'm going to come onto my stone and you can off-center it a little bit if you want or you can center it however you wish to do it. And I, I like to put my centers in first and then paint my flower petals around that. And reason being is that it kind of makes for a just a guideline and then you can actually go back over it and st st uh, pounce on top of it once you've put in the petals just to kind of finish it up when you do that. Alright, so there I have that one. Then I'm going to do two smaller ones. Once again, just tipping in to the cinnamon and then pouncing off onto the plate. And I'm going to do them where they're just kind of partially, they're partials, they're not a full, full flower, full, full open flower, they're just partial. So these are kind of pounced on a little differently. my centers go. Alright, so then the next thing I'm going to do is take my number two brush and I'm going to dip one side into the, well actually I can do this with all of them. I'm going to dip the whole thing into the moon yellow and then I'm just going to come and start pulling in my leaves or my petals, excuse me. And I like to turn mine where they're going different directions. You know, they're, they're, I mean, still going around the flower. But they're not just straight out from the flower. And painting on the stone is so easy. It's a very smooth surface, very easy to paint on. Alright, so then I am going to go over this again. What I might do is tip a little bit of it into the other yellow, which is the bumblebee. So I'm going to go around this a few times. And what you could do is allow this to dry a little bit because it seems to be kind of transparent on here. I 
and just keep painting on it, turning it as you paint. Your petals can be different lengths too, they don't all have to be the same size. And see, it's just real simple. Very relaxing. Just like that. Then I'm going to go back in, put my brush completely into the moon yellow again. It's the same, the same brush. I have not changed it. And I'm going to come in here and do the petals on my little open, open flowers. And they can overlap. That's just fine. Perfect. It doesn't matter how many petals you have. This, however many you end up with is fine. I feel like I grabbed a hair. I do have animals, so I'm not claiming to be hair free by any means. I am definitely an animal lover. Always have been and probably always will. Now when you're doing this too, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my brush a little bit into the cinnamon. You know what though, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit it and dry it for a minute before I do that. Okay, so I went ahead and hit it with the hair dryer, or it's a, uh, not actually a hair dryer, it's a heat gun. And I'm just going to come back through here and throw some cinnamon into the leaves that I have going on here. And you can double load it if you want, like here, just to get some better coverage. And if you don't want to work, overwork it, you certainly don't have to do this step. I'm just trying to get nice coverage and maybe even get in a little bit more. I don't want that showing like that. Because you can actually just come down and not even put the other color on it so that it's double loaded. You can just put the single color on it if you want and just come back through. Or if you wanted to, you could also just do maybe a few of the petals and not all of them. You don't even have to go around all of it and do all of them the same. That's up to you. But I kind of like it with the, a little bit on the, the cinnamon on the leaves. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be more than... Maybe more or less, or not at all. And then if you want, you can come through, and I kind of wanted to add just a touch of white. Not like that, but just a touch of white. Just kind of come down. And I'm just very lightly putting that on. So it's just a light touch of white. Not a lot. And then you just keep, and if you want, you can just stick with the basic yellow and, and call it a day if you want. That's strictly up to you. And if you feel like you got too much of the white going on, you can just feel free to come back through, add some more brown to it. You can do that. Yeah, I'll do a little bit over here. Again, it's just, just a little bit. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Very simple. 
If you want to double load your brush and just do it a normal one stroke way, you can. It's just again very simple. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go in and add in my granary. Now, on this, I am mixing in some of the thicket, the real brown, and you can even throw in some of this other. Oh, I didn't actually put that on my list. Uh, put in some of the cinnamon if you want. Throw in some of the yellow. And this, do a mixture where you're getting more of a more of an olivey color as opposed to just a straight thicket color or green. And then I'm going to start by tying these all together. And I just do really quick little pulls. If you can't see them, you can actually turn it to where you get more of a yellow on there so you can see them a little bit better. Yeah, really, again, up to you. I've got this kind of mixed up here. And you can just rotate it if you feel like you need to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and start putting in what I would say... Is more of a kind of a wiggly flower or wiggly leaf. I don't know why I always say flower when I'm doing leaves. And then come in here, pull it through like that. Very simple. And then I can do just some regular little leaves, my basic, and then pull it, pull it through here with the stem, through there, through here, just very, very simply. Come back in here, make some more color up, and then I can do some of my little wiggle leaves here. And then come back down. Just very simple, very simple, simple, simple. Put that there, come back in here, just put some more paint on my brush. And then I'm going to just do some little strokes again, coming down like that from these. Now I can come in if I want my stems to be a little darker, just put some more paint on them. And however you want it to, to play out, up to you. And whatever you have to, you know, I try to do my samples on a similar size, especially for the rocks. I try to do that sample, to kind of draw a circle or whatever the shape is and try to simulate it as much as I can so that I can put the design within that size. Sometimes I go out, outside of the box a little bit, which again, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? And when you're dealing with my painting, it's not perfect. That's for certain. I don't intend it to be. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit, come back over here, and do it like that. Hopefully you can see. And then I am going to do just some more easy kind of little pull leaves. And they come back over the top of this flower, which is fine. You know, some people don't like their stuff to overlap, but I think that gives it more of a natural, natural look, honestly. And I'm sorry, my air conditioner is starting back up. So that's what we're hearing here. 
And then I'm going to do, I think on the end here, because I do have some room left, I'm just going to do some basic leaves. Just kind of fill them in a little bit. Like that. And then just pull them through here. Maybe add another one. That's just very simple, very easy. Very simple and easy. And then I'm going to do it and act like it's coming this way from that side and do it like that. And then now you can keep going with the leaves if you want, but I'm just going to stop it at that because I can get, as you know, can get a little crazy if you follow me. You know that I love leaves. So what I'm going to do is go back through here and then just go over this. I like to go back over once I've finished painting in my leaf petals just to go ahead and kind of just clean it up. The edges like that and then I'm going to take my little guy here and do the same thing like that come back over here and do some painting over that just to tie all these back in together do the same over here and you can make it to where your center comes out a little more so it's not quite as flat. Or you can round it out up to you. Certainly up to you. Like that. So you have it. I love sunflowers, so this was pretty pretty good uh, design for me to do because I definitely love them. Alright, so then I'm going to take my little stylus, go into my licorice, and I don't know if I even said licorice, I am doing licorice also, if I didn't. Alright, so then I'm going to just start pouncing and I, I'm really just trying to pounce so that I have a lot of different different sizes and that they look like it's it's full you know what I mean like it's going down into the petals some um, it's very simple like I said, they'll get a little more, I'm planning on doing a little bit more difficult designs as we go here. Add more leaves, or not more leaves, but more flowers. See, I told you I'm really, really into the leaf part. And you can come up further into the center if you want. It doesn't have to be like it's lined up perfectly by any means. It's very cute. And if you want to use a different color to do this with, or if you want to do multiple colors, you can do that too. They don't all have to be black. I just think the black stands out a little bit more. Maybe, maybe so. We'll come over here a little bit. And I'm just hitting very, very quickly. Tapping. And little dots.
Mm, I think that's so cute. Now, if you want to do a different base color, if you want to add some other other uh, flowers to this, you can. I'm just going to leave it at this for now. I think it's fine. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And whenever you're finished watching the video, if you would share this on your social network with your family and friends, pretty easy. Just hit that share button underneath the video and it'll give you the options of where you want to share it. And thanks again for taking the time to view my videos. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one.